Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Journey back at you with another tip video, and today we're gonna show you guys how to block DB Fire 2, aka the Contain Glitch Blitz. You know, try to contain it as much as possible, and we're gonna show you guys how the Contain Blitz looks. And look at this. We're gonna show you the replay right here. Look as look at the slot cornerback. How quick he comes off the edge, and I'm blocking six and the defense is sending five. So that's basically what the contain glitch is. I'm gonna show you, you know, what the blitz looks like a couple more times just so you guys get used to it. And if the blitz comes in as it should, like the way it's looking, you literally will not have a time to throw a drag. Yes, you will not have time to throw a drag because the pressure comes in so quick and your, your QB's release isn't that fast. So you'll just get you know, best case scenario, you throw a pass and you're just gonna get hit and the ball just flies off. It might be a pick, it might just be an incompletion, but that's how fast this blitz is. And you guys, you know, you're not gonna find a setup to just block this blitz every time. There will be a time where the the cornerback comes in. That That's just how it is. You're not just gonna find a, a setup that blocks this blitz every single time that's just not how it is right now from what i've seen so far so as you can tell right here we have a tight end on the right and a running back on the right and what you want usually to block these ty type of blitzes is you want a running back on the left and the tight end on the right or vice versa because the running back can pick up from the heat from the left and the tight end can pick up the heat from the right so we're going to show you guys what i do from bunch because it has what i'm talking about a running back on the left tight end on the right and yes I'm gonna max protect and that's literally the only way you know to block this and it's not even gonna be consistent but it's gonna hold up you know once every you know seven or eight times the blitz is gonna come in but for the most part this will block it good so all you have to do is max protect and slide to the right that's Say that's what I'm saying is for bunch for bunch week. That's what you want to do. You want to max protect and slide to the right. You're gonna see the tight end go backwards, and that's what forces you know when when the, when the tight end runs backwards. That's gonna pick up the contain, and it's gonna give you time in the pocket. As you can tell, I had all day in the pocket. And another reason why bunch is so good is it has a lot of three route combos. You know, you 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 can put out three routes on the field with bunch. And you'll still have it'll still be a good route combo just because how good bunch is you know you can have a streak deep corner and a drag you can have a streak post route drag that's what makes bunch so good it can pick up heat by max protecting like look at the look at the heat it's just absolutely picked up because i have a running back on the left tight end on the right but i am not saying that this will pick up the heat 100 percent of the time i'm just saying that most of the time is going to pick up the heat and then, you know, maybe 10, 15% of the time that he's going to come in and he's just going to scream at you and you probably just have no chance to throw the ball. But that's better than 80% of the time that he comes in because if you put five routes on the field, I guarantee you, you will get screamed out every single play from this blitz. So I recommend if he's, you know, sending seven, no, not sending seven, if he's sending five or six every play with the contain glitch, please max protect that will give you your best chance to get a route off get something off you know because if you send four or five routes out on the field there's a high chance you're going to get insta shedded or that cornerback is coming straight through for an easy sack so look at the max protect as you could tell you know it's practice mode the sheds are crazy but we're going to compare what i've been doing from bunch to doubles and look at the difference would you rather max protect and have all that time in the pocket or would you rather get screamed at like that? I'll let you answer the question. I know what I'm doing. I'm going to max protect and make sure I have the most time in the pocket as possible. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'm out, y'all. Peace.